What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Eternal Evolution, and today we're going to just be doing an initial test of the new uh, SSS Assassin Helen that you get from Hell Arena versus Bailey Hudson in an Assassin team. You know, we have a strong Rickert, a strong Dominic. Those two are the core heroes. We're going to trade off and see what their damage looks like in a pure boss battle to see how they actually translate. Now, she does have a little more utility than him. Uh, and of course, a lot of her abilities are Hell Arena specific. But how can she do outside of Hell Arena? And should you actually build this hero? Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So here is the new hero right here. We have Helen on our account. We've got her essentially probably even stronger than our Bailey Hudson right now. And the real test is to see, is she worthwhile outside of Hell Arena? Again, yeah, it's all the way up to 30. We're going to run almost identical gear too, just to see like a perfect scenario. Uh, Marauder gear for healing with the crit chance. And I think she's basically at 100% crit chance here. If we take a look, uh, pretty close to it. About 95% with some additional crit damage bonuses. She's also almost level 120 on Summit level. Whereas if we take a look at our Bailey, he's just chilling at 240. He does, uh, I mean, we could hyper evolve him if we wanted to. Again, almost the same setup. We got the crit chance and we got the set there. However, we only have it up to EX20. We're missing out uh, on the extra true damage and such. But we do have... Uh, we got some extra stuff. We could, you know, push these further if we wanted to. Don't really care about them right now. I'm not the biggest PvP fan, which might be a big mistake on uh, Helen, but building her to get additional points in Hell Arena might be good even if we don't care. So I'm going to go into a scenario here that is 100%, I feel like, a straight-up deal. It's the daily challenge here on the game guild so this is typically what i run is it very optimal no uh we pretty much just run this team as is just to uh i mean it's, it's just it gets us good points and I, what i want to do is i want to first get a baseline with bailey so i want to show you guys we're going to skip the battle we're just running auto on this we're, we're not doing anything special we're going to do an auto comparison so yes you might say this isn't a perfect test but i just want to see in a two battle scenario how this turns out because our heroes typically live it works pretty good uh and let's skip the battle let's go to the scorecard here so as you can see 323 we usually range somewhere in the 323 to 320 to 330 uh, million range here and you can see down here bailey is doing about 25 million uh, not really that much just providing rickert with additional stats even our nord's not doing anything super amazing but what we're going to do now is we're going to jump back into this and we're going to see what the damage looks like with the new assassin hero. I mean, I wish we had the SP version, but uh, I guess the SSS version for Hell Arena will have to do. Let's run it back. Let's see how it works. Let's see what her damage looks like in comparison. So again, we're just going to be doing a quick skip on this one to see what the damage looks like. About the same, and honestly, damage-wise about the same, yet she has a lot more power. Granted, her EXs are more geared, to, or almost mainly geared, to Hell Arena, whereas Bailey Hudson, it works in every single game mode. Um, but it does, it, it, she seems like an equivalent, in my opinion, as far as raw damage goes, to Bailey. And again, I just want to show you guys, there is a difference in power. She does a lot of S levels, whereas he does not. He has two extra copies in him. She does not. So it's kind of like a trade-off there, I guess you could say. And of course, she has higher stats simply because of the exclusive being much higher. She's getting like, what, 40% additional attack versus 27.5. Uh, so is she worthwhile? I'm going to leave that up to you guys here. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm going to do a lot more testing with her overall. Of course, in Hell Arena, she's just absolutely amazing because she has so many, so many good abilities, including an execute ability, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, we'll test her out a little further. Honestly, for you guys, if you are not strictly a PvP player, she's definitely one most likely to stay away from for the time being. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,